conquering contractions, mastering, should not, and shouldn't. Hello, language learners. Today, we're delving deep into the realm of modal verbs, particularly focusing on the word should in its negative form, should not, or the contraction, shouldn't. Contractions are a vital part of English language that make our conversations sound more natural and fluent. So, let's get started. Should not, and its contracted form, shouldn't, are used to express something that is not good or desirable. For instance, you should not smoke, or you shouldn't smoke, mean it's not a good idea for you to smoke. When conversing in English, shouldn't is commonly used because it's easier and quicker to say. For example, you shouldn't go to the party if you're feeling sick. It's also a more casual and informal way of expressing the same meaning as should not. However, in more formal or emphatic situations, we might use should not. For instance, you should not lie about your qualifications. To truly understand and get comfortable using should not or shouldn't practice is key. Try making sentences with should not or shouldn't. Here's a prompt to get you started. You shouldn't blank because blank. Fill in the blanks with your own ideas. Well, that's a wrap on our journey into should not and shouldn't. Now you know how to use these expressions in a variety of situations to sound more fluent in English. Remember, practice is crucial when learning new language constructs. So, keep practicing, keep learning, and you'll be mastering English before you know it. Happy learning, folks! We'll be back with another exciting English language topic. Until then, stay curious and keep exploring the beauty of English.